What is the difference between a ratio and a proportion? Well, I think it is best understood through an example. Suppose we have a school which consists of 600 students in total, out of which 200 are boys and 400 are girls. Now, if I were to ask you, what is the ratio of boys to girls? Well, the ratio of boys to girls is just 200 to 400. The ratio of boys to girls is just 200 to 400. Now, all ratios can be simplified by dividing by the largest common factor. Clearly, the largest common factor here is just 200. So I can divide both of them by 200. And this simplifies to 1 to 2. So the ratio between boys to girls is 1 to 2. In other words, for every one boy in this school, there are two girls. Or you can say, for every two girls, there is one boy. Now, now contrast this with proportions. Now, what is the proportion of boys? Well, the proportion of boys, there are 200 boys out of a total of 600. All proportions are out of the total. So, the proportion of boys is just 200 over 600, which simplifies to... I can simplify this by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 200, and this becomes a third. What is the proportion of girls? Well, the proportion of girls is just the number of girls out of the total. So that's 400 over 600, which simplifies to 2 thirds by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 200. Now, can you see the difference between a ratio and proportions? In a ratio, the quantity of one category is compared to the quantity of another category. Here, we are comparing the quantity of boys to the quantity of girls. Now, this comparison of categories is simplified to give us a quantitative relationship. So here, for every one boy, there are two girls. Or in other words, for every two girls, there is one boy. Now, in a proportion, we are writing the quantity of one category out of the total. Again, for the girls, the quantity of one category, the quantity of girls, out of the total. And we can simplify the proportions. So here we have two statements. In statement A, it says, for every one boy, there are four girls. And in statement B, it says, one in every four students is a girl. Now, these two statements may look very similar, but they are actually different. Statement A is actually a ratio. Now, now why is this statement a ratio? Well, this statement is telling us the relationship between two categories, boys and girls. For every one boy, there are four girls. So, the relationship between boys and girls is being given here and it is telling us that for every one boy there are four girls. Now statement B is a proportion. Now why is this a proportion? Well in statement B we are being told that one in every four students is a girl. So one in every four students is a girl. In other words, it is telling us that a quarter of the students are girls. 
Now, this quarter is with respect to the total number of students. So, let's say, for example, if there were 1,000 students, how many girls would there be? Well, if a quarter of the students are girls and there are 1,000 students, what is a quarter of 1,000? Well, a quarter of 1,000 is just 250. So, there would be 250 girls. So here you can see that a proportion tells us the relationship of a category with respect to the total. So, the relationship of girls with respect to the total number of students. Whereas in a ratio, the quantity of one category is compared to the quantity of another category. So here, the quantity of boys is compared to the quantity of girls. Now, this is a relationship because for every one boy, there are four girls. And in other words, for every four girls, there is one boy. Now, let's take an example here to where we could apply the ratio. So, suppose there were, for example, 1,000 students here. How would we use this ratio to work out how many boys there are and how many girls there are? Now, what are the steps in using a ratio to work out the actual quantities? Well, remember, step one. We add the ratios. What's 1 plus 4? It's 5. And then step 2, we divide the total, which is 1,000, by the sum, 5. So we do 1,000 divided by 5, which is 200. And then in step 3, we multiply this amount here by each of the ratios to work out what the actual quantities are. So for boys, we would multiply 200 by 1 because the ratio of the boys is 1. So here, that's equal to 200. And then for the girls, we multiply the 200 by 4. So for the girls, it's 200 times 4, which is 800. Now you can clearly see that if a school consisted of 1,000 students and this ratio applied, then there would be 200 boys and 800 girls. Now, what you must always do to check that your answers are correct is check that. Do these amounts add up to the total 1,000? Yes, they do. I hope it's clear to you now the difference between a ratio and a proportion. Just to summarise, in a ratio, the quantity of one category is compared to the quantity of another. So the quantity of one category is compared to the quantity of another category, so boys to girls. Whereas in a proportion, it tells us the relationship of the category to the total, to the whole. So the relationship of the girls with respect to the total. So here where it says that where, and it says that one in every four students is a girl, they are telling us that a quarter of the students are girls, a quarter of the total students. Now here we have some red squares and blue squares. There are five squares in total. Now, if I were to ask you what is the ratio of red squares to blue squares, well, the ratio of red squares to blue squares is clearly 3 
to 2 because there are 3 red squares and 2 blue squares. Now I want you to contrast this, compare this to a proportion. What is the proportion of red squares? Well the proportion of red squares is just there are three red squares out of a total of five. So the proportion of red squares is just three over five. And the proportion of blue squares is just two out of five. So that's two over five. Now, can you see that a proportion is out of the total. There are five squares in total and the proportion of red is the quantity of the red category. There are the, quant the quantity of the red category is three. There are three red squares out of the total number of squares. So the quantity of the red category, there are three red squares out of the total number of square, squares and the proportion of the blue squares is just the quantity of the blue squares there are two blue squares two out of the total number of squares whereas in a ratio we are just showing the quantity of one category red to another category blue so you are just showing the relationship, the quantitative relationship between the red squares and the blue squares. Here it says, Aisha is twice the age of Karen. The sum of their ages is 30. How old are they? So we are being asked to work out the ages of Aisha and Karen. Now, it clearly says here that Aisha is twice the age of Karen. Immediately you should realize that this is a ratio. This is a ratio because two categories are being compared. What are the two categories? Aisha's age and Karen's age. And the relationship between these two categories is given. The quantitative relationship is that Aisha is twice the age of Karen. So let's write this down. So the relationship between Aisha's age and Karen's age. Now, the relationship is that Aisha's age is twice that of Karen's age. So let's say, for example, Karen was one. Aisha is twice her age. So Aisha will be two. Now, I have been given another piece of information here that the sum of their ages is 30. In other words, the total of their ages is 30. So that is the total of their ages. Now, this is a ratio problem. So whenever we are solving a ratio problem, step one, we add up the ratios. 2 plus 1 is 3. Step two, I divide the total by the sum of the ratios. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. And then what I do, step 3, I multiply this answer here by the quantity of the ratios. So for Aisha, her age will be 10 times the quantity of a ratio there, which is 2. So 10 times 2 is 20. And for Karen, it's just 10 times her quantity, which is 1, which is going to be 10. So now this now tells us that Aisha's age is 20, and Karen's age is 10. Now, does this add up, does this sum to give me 
30. Yes, it does. Clearly, it does. Now, does this relationship hold? Yes, it does. Because if Karen is 10 years old, then Aisha is twice her age. So, 2 times 10 is 20. Aisha's age is double that of Karen. So, this relationship holds. Now, to extend your knowledge, I want to show you that you could have solved this problem through algebra. Now, to use algebra, let's define some variables. So, let's say let A equal Aisha's age. So, I'm I am defining my variables. So, that's Aisha's A is Aisha's age. And let K equal Karen's age. Now, we were told that Aisha's age is twice that of Karen's age. So, Aisha's age, A, is twice that of Karen's age. So, A Aisha's age, A, A is equal to 2 times K, 2K. You know that in algebra... 2k means 2 times k. I do not need to write the multiplication sign. This is a convention in algebra. 2k means 2 times k. So Aisha's age is twice that of Karen's age. So Aisha's age is 2 times Karen's age. And I was also told that the sum of their ages is 30. So Aisha's age plus Karen's age equals 30. So Aisha's age plus Karen's age equals 30. Now this is a simultaneous problem. We have two equations. Now what I can do here is if A equals 2K, I can replace this A here by this 2K. So I am replacing this A here by the 2K over there because a is equal to 2k. So this equation here now will become 2k plus k equals 30. Now 2k plus k is just 3k. So 3k equals 30. So 3 lots of k is 30. Therefore k must equal to 10. k equals 30 divided by 3 which is equal to 10. So, Karen's age is 10. Now, if Karen's age is 10 and Aisha is twice that of Karen's age, then Aisha must be 2 times 10, which is 20. So, Aisha's age is 20. So, we have worked out Aisha's age and Karen's age. So, here I've shown you two ways of solving these types of questions. Do whichever you find comfortable. Just to summarise what we have learned here, a ratio compares the quantity of one category to another category. It shows us the quantitative relationship between the categories. So, for example, if we were comparing the quantity of boys to the quantity of girls in a school, and suppose there are 200 boys and 400 girls, the ratio of boys to girls is 200 to 400, which can be simplified to 1 to 2. This means the relationship here is that for every one boy, there are two girls, or in other words, for every two girls, there is one boy. Now, a proportion is the quantity of one category over the total it shows us the relationship between a category and the total. So let's take an example here. So let's say, for example, there are 1,000 students in a school. And let's say there are 400 boys. Now, the proportion of boys here is just the quantity of boys, which is 400 over the total. The total number of students is 1,000. Now, every proportion can be simplified. We can simplify this for tenths, which becomes, divided by 2, becomes 2 fifths.